Hey guys, good morning. Um, <laughs> yeah, it, I've been busy. Um, fr uh, what was it? Friday night, I was going to check back in. Uh, once I got out of the glass room, I basically come in and chilled out on the couch and crashed. That was the end of that. I didn't do any video. I didn't do anything. So that was my Friday night. Um, Pain-wise, yeah, I was hurting really bad. My back was hurting. Uh, the middle of my back was hurting. My neck was hurting. My leg, my left leg is just, the last mm, couple weeks, it, I don't know. It, it just feels weird. It's not normal. Um, then yesterday, uh, we had company come. And so, you know, we hung around for quite a while here at the house. And then we decided to go down to Hamrick's, which I love Hamrick's. And, uh... And then we had a quick dinner, I think, at Burger Fi. And, you know, pain, should I have done that? No, probably not. Um, should I be doing what we're going to do today? No, probably not. But I know after today, uh, tomorrow is definitely going to be a down day. No doubts about it. Um, I don't have any other choice. Sorry, I'm trying to get out of that light, but that's by my back door. Um, so, pain today. Uh pretty much the same. My back is just not happy. Uh, my left leg, I don't know what's going on with it. Um, when we were sitting having dinner last night, all of a sudden I feel, the only way I can describe is, is it feels like somebody just put an ice cube on a spot in my leg. And when I say an ice cube, it's like this little square spot that all of a sudden gets really, really cold. What that's about, I have no idea. It does go away. Um, today I'm rocking a couple pain patches. Uh, if I need to, I'll take some extra ibuprofen. With that being said, um, anywhere I walk today, I'll be using my cane. And we're actually talking about going to the flea market with the friends of ours that have come down. And <laughs> Pucky's hollering for me. I, apparently she doesn't realize I'm sitting here on the couch. Um, so we're going to go to the flea market, but my wheelchair is in the back of the van. And um, Jeff's going to push me at the flea market because... I can't do that kind of walking. It's just not going to happen. So we're looking forward to having a good day. Um, first, we're going to go out to breakfast. And like I said, then we're going to go do some antiquing. Um, not a whole lot. You know, I won't be walking, I hope, not too much. Uh, wherever we can use the wheelchair, we will. And then, like I said, tomorrow's going to be a down day. Tomorrow's going to be a chill out day. So all of this that I've said, and I, and I keep telling you guys that you can have a life, at least part of a life, you have to prepare for it. And by preparing is exactly what I'm talking about. You know, we've made the plans. I know what I've got ahead of me. I know I've got to use my cane. I know I've got to sit in my wheelchair. Um, but that's okay because I still get to spend time with my friends you know, doing the antiquing, going out to breakfast, and just having fun. A lot of laughs. We Last night at dinner, we had a lot of laughs. It was funny. <laughs> so, um, yeah, prepare. Prepare, expect, know. Those, that's my tip for today. You need to prepare for what you're going to do. You need to know what to expect when you do it. And um, I forgot the last one I said. Prepare, expect, and know. And know what's going to happen. You know, um, I think that's the same as expect, but whatever. Um, you know, realize that tomorrow is going to be a down day. Tomorrow, you know, maybe you can still hang out with your friends or whatever, but just know it's got to be low key. So, for example, if, if they decide to stay tonight, which I think they are, um, and come up tomorrow, you know, we know I'm going to be in my art room chilling out and my girlfriend will be with me. And, you know, her brother and Jeff will probably go wander and do something. Who knows? But... We know that tomorrow I can't go out shopping and I can't go out roaming and all that kind of stuff. So sorry I didn't check in Friday or yesterday, but like I said, I've been busy. And um, I hope you guys are sorry about that glare on my glasses, but nothing I can do. Um, I hope you guys all have a wonderful day. Um, try to be as pain-free as possible. Um, if you have to, sit down and make a list of what you know, what you can do, what you know, what you can do to help yourself, and what to expect because it's huge. It's really huge. That's all part of the planning the chronic pain life. All right? So gentle hugs to you all. I hope you all are having a wonderful day, a wonderful weekend, and as pain-free as pos possible. And uh, we'll chat with you soon. Bye. 
Hey guys, sorry for the late check-in today. Um, it's been a pretty busy one. I am actually laying down on my little couch in my glass house. Um, if you don't know what that is, I actually bought a shed. Um, I can't remember, I think it was 14 by 20, something like that. And I decided to get my stained glass studio back together. So all of it's in here. Um, I'm getting it up and running. I finally got my grinding, my um, cutting areas, my soldering areas all together. And, you know, it's coming together. It's still got a little ways to go, but I will give you a sneak peek of it. This is my glass house. Sorry, I'll try to stop shaking. Um, all that stuff that's hanging up in the rafters. All of that was stuff that I had left over from a, a shop that I used to put my glass in. And then I have my glass over here. I don't know if you can see or not. But I have all the, um, you know, everything set up. My bevels and my glass and that kind of stuff. Uh, this table right here, that's where I do my lamp work beads. I actually make um, beads out of glass. <laughs> I don't know what other way to put it. I'm on my little couch and just one more thing to show you that glass let's see if it's gonna show up that was one of the pieces I made that I just was absolutely in love with so that one didn't go to the shop all right so let's talk about pain um, yeah my left leg is not happy today my hips are burning like they're on fire um, you know even with that being said I, I mentally um, feel good and I'm like you know what I am not just gonna sit my ass on the couch today and excuse me for the language um, so I decided you know I got up um, I went in my art room for a little while to be honest with you I didn't do anything in there um, I chatted with a couple friends most of the day today so that was you know not taxing um, I think I got glass on my sock um, what else did I do? I decided we had three ripe bananas, really ripe, because I don't like them when they have brown spots on them. That just will. So anyways, I decided to make a loaf of banana bread. So that was pretty easy, no big deal. So I made the banana bread and then um, I decided that I needed to come out to my glass house. And the reason I did is because there are two machines uh, I can't see which way right there and there's another one next to it that I just ordered one and they came today one is a bandsaw for glass um, so I can cut any shape I really want to out of it and the other is a grinder um, my grinder was still working but I used it and it just eh, it didn't sound like it was happy <laughs> so not a happy grinder um, so anyways, yeah, I come out here and the greatest thing about being out here is I can lay down, which is what I'm doing right now because my left leg is just throbbing. Um, I also have chairs in both locations. Both chairs have wheels on them so that I can move wherever I need to go. Um, like I said, it, uh, it's all working out really well. So I just wanted to check in. Like I said, I'm sorry I'm checking in so late, but I'm hanging in there. I made the choice today to do things. Um, tomorrow, mm, it's probably going to hit me, but what can I do? There's nothing I can do. I, you know, I do what I can. So anyways, I hope you guys have all had as much of a pain-free day as possible. And, um, you know, be kind to yourself, be gentle and gentle hugs to all of you. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hi, good morning, everybody. Um, actually I should say good afternoon. It's about 1230, um, Eastern standard time. Um, as you can see behind me, I am actually out in my glass house and I'm just, right now I'm just playing around. I did a little bit of grinding on an angel and then right now I'm in the process of, um, foiling and soldering. I'll start soldering here in a little bit. Um, as you can tell, Pucky's with me. I'll start soldering here in a bit, but I'm working on a, a heart that's a red, white, and blue with a star. So it's an, you know, an American themed heart. So, um, yeah, let's see, pain levels. Very difficult to get out of bed this morning. Um, my legs are just, my left leg is just not there. 
Uh, I don't know any other way to put it. Um, it's very painful. My back hurts. I am sitting down, so that's a good thing. Um, like I said, I tried standing to do a little bit of grinding and that just wasn't working. So uh, thankfully, doing stained glass, there's different um, aspects of it where you can either sit or stand. So um, I'm sitting here, I've got the window open, just feeling the breeze. It's supposed to be, I think, 80 degrees here today. And I need a haircut because this little wing thing drives me crazy. <laughs> Anyways, um, so yeah, um, I don't think I'll be out here that long today. I think I come out around 1030 and it's 12.30, so it's been a couple hours. Um, I have been over on the bench and laid down a couple times um, just because of my back and my leg. But, you know, again, mentally today, I feel great um, pain-wise. Yeah, it hurts. Um, one of the things I wanted to talk to you guys about, and this has been brought up, is the first thing is denial. I can remember when I first got hurt, um, my thought was, yeah, no, I didn't hurt myself that bad. I couldn't hurt myself that bad. You know, that's, that, that happens to other people. That doesn't happen to me. And, of course, what did I do? I tried to keep living my life, right? So, I got hurt on August 2nd. And I worked up until September 11th. And at that point, the pain was just beyond control. I didn't have any way to... Um, control it at all. Um, my job required a lot of um, drive time. So here I am sitting and I've got this really messed up back, really messed up leg, and I have to go and, you know, figure out how to do my job. So denial is a very, very hard thing to get through. It takes a while. It doesn't happen overnight. And what I found out is by denying that I actually had that difficult of an injury or that severe of an injury, um, when I did finally figure it out, it kind of was very depressing. Okay? So listen to your doctors. If you're not comfortable with what a doctor tells you, oh no, this is permanent, you can do what I did. I went and I got a second opinion. And that second opinion decided to cut me open and told me he could fix my back. He cut me open, 20 minutes later he shut me up and took me to recovery. And he says there's nothing we can do at this point. So it was, you know, it was eye-opening. But had I listened to my first doctor, one, I wouldn't have had an unnecessary surgery. Two, if I'd have really listened to what he said, I think getting through the denial would have been better. So if this is something you're right in the beginnings of, or even if you're two years in, you need to sit down, you need to assess your body, and you need to understand this is what it is. It's not going to change. I will tell you, journaling was huge for me. I wrote, I don't know how many pages I wrote so many bad words on, because I didn't want to be here. I didn't want this. This wasn't for me. This was, you know, something that happened to other people. It doesn't happen to me. You know, I I worked a lot of hours. I was more working than I was home. And I enjoyed my job. I enjoyed what I did. So denial is huge. Um, the best tips I can give you is number one, get out a journal. Number two, listen to your doctor. And number three, assess your body. And your body's going to tell you, yeah, this hurts. This is not good. This sucks. You can't go through this. And you have to learn at that point how to do pain management control. And we'll talk about that later on. But there's a few other topics I'm going to talk about before we actually get into the pain management portion. But that's my tip for today. Get out a journal. I don't care if you write crap, 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 or hell, 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 hell. 400 times in that journal. If that's what you need to do to get this crap out of your head, do it. It's worth it. It doesn't matter what you write in there. You can write, you know, this is BS. I can't take this anymore. I don't want to do this. Why me? Why me? Why me? Get it out of your head and then you'll be able to start looking for the answers. I hope this video isn't too long to put on Facebook, so I'm going to try right now. I hope you guys have as pain-free of a day as possible 
and gentle hugs to you all. Check in later. Bye. Hey guys. So I told you I was going to give you the good, bad, and the ugly, right? Well, right now I'm on an ugly. Um, I went this morning to get um, injections in my hips for bursitis because I have a bad case of, of bursitis in both my hips. Um, well, they've decided to redo their computer system. So when my appointment was at 10, I never got in until almost 1130. And by sitting there in that chair and waiting, um, my back pain just kind of went sky high. The only way I can explain it is um, when my back pain goes really, really high, I see red. <laughs> I don't know any other way to explain it. Sorry, I have to keep switching hands. Um, so, yeah, I went red. And um, by the time I got in and laid down on the uh, bed for the injections, um, yeah, I had, I had lost it. I uh, basically was crying because of the amount of pain I was in. And the doctor came in. He's like, why are you crying? I'm like, I'm just in a lot of pain. Let's just get these injections done and let's get it over with. So, you know, he did the injections. My right one wasn't, wasn't too bad. It was just the normal. My left one, um, my left hip was so bad that it was kind of excruciating to get the shot done this time, but you know what? That's okay. Um, I knew it wasn't going to feel normal because of how much pain I was in. So anyways, that is done. Um, I told my hubs, thankfully he goes with me this time we took Pucky. So he just kind of hung out until I finally came out and, um, you know, I told my husband, I said, you know, it's okay. I said, but right now what I need to do is I need to get food and I need to go home and I need to lay in bed. So guess where I'm at? <laughs> um, we stopped at a local restaurant, got some food. I ate a little bit of it. Um, told Hubs put the rest in the refrigerator. Maybe I'll eat some more later. Um, and what's funny is right now I'm rocking two pain patches and I had them on when I was at the doctor's. I have one on my lower back and I have one on my middle back, right, right where the bra strap runs. I am having so much pain in that part of my back. But, um, anyways, we got something to eat. He put the rest in the fridge. Um, I have a TV in here. Let me see if I can show it to you. Uh, nope, that's not it. Can you see it? There's a TV right at the end of my bed. Um, it's basically, it's on wheels. So what I can do or what Jeff will do for me is he'll wheel it over to the end of the bed um, because that's my controllers only work when it's there. Not sure why, but, um, but well, besides that, and I can't see it when it's up against the next wall. But um, so this afternoon I will sit here and read for a while. I've got a big book I'm in the process of. Um, it's John Grissom, Time to Kill. And... I'm a little ways through it. Not not a lot. But so I'll lay here and read for a while and then probably turn some Netflix on and just try to relax. Um, I do have a, this drives me nuts. I need to find a different pillowcase for this pillow. It drives me crazy. Sorry, squirrel. Uh, I do need a, um, or I do have a heated blanket on my bed. So I've got that turned on. And it's actually turned up quite a bit. It's on 8. And I think it only goes to 9 or high. Um, hopefully that will warm up my legs and warm up my back and try to get rid of some of this pain. Uh, it seems to work sometimes. So today's the day to give it a try. So this is the ugly. Um, see, Cindy doesn't get to go and do and, and have fun all the time. Um, I do have days like this. Tomorrow, it really is going to depend on how much sleep I get tonight. Um, sometimes after the injections, it's just for three days, I'm down. Um, you know, I may be in bed again tomorrow or I may be on the couch or whatever. But it takes a little bit for that uh, medication to get into the bur bursitis sac or the, whatever you call that. 
Um, I do have um, bursitis in both hips, and they give me injections of steroids and lidocaine, which is basically a painkiller or a numbing, numbing thing. So, all right. Um, I might check in later, let you guys know how I'm doing. I just wanted to give you a heads up that there is ugly right along with the good. So I hope you guys are having as pain-free of a day as possible. And I may chat with you later, if not tomorrow. Thanks, guys. Have a great day. Hey, guys. Good morning. It's me. Um, yeah, yesterday got quite bad. Um, my back, both of my hips, um, my leg, it, uh, it, the middle of my back it was just not cool so um, basically I spent the day chilling on the couch watching some Netflix um, just that was about it uh, every now and then I would try to do a little piece of art here and eh, I did a little bit of personal journaling and I just I couldn't sit up that long for that kind of stuff so I pretty much stayed down yesterday um, I'm up this morning and we are going to, Jeff's playing with the dog, um, over there. Say hi. Hi, everybody. He's so weird. Um, <laughs> so, um, right now I'm up, showered, dressed, just ate some oatmeal, because I have to take all those medicines, and yeah, that stuff likes to stick to the bottom of my stomach like a rock. So... I go today, this morning, to get my hip injections. Um, I will check in when I get back. I can tell you, no, they don't hurt. At least, they don't, they, how do I say this? They don't hurt. It's not like, ow! There's a lot of pressure on the hip joint. Say hi to Pucky! Pucky had a bath this morning. Pucky! Hi, baby. She's like, I'm busy. She's busy looking for the light. <laughs> um... So yeah, it's it's a lot of pressure on the hip joints, but it's not pain, if that makes sense. Um, there will be pain later on today and probably tomorrow, and I think that's just as the um, steroids and lidocaine uh, gets absorbed into the body. It makes my hips really, really sore. So I will do a check-in later on this afternoon, let you know how everything's going, how I'm feeling. Um, I hope you guys have a great day today. Remember, if you're going to do something, um, if you, you know, if you're having trouble trying to figure out how to do things, um, rethink it. So, for example, cleaning the bathroom, rethink it into smaller parts. Okay, read the comment yesterday. Um, I believe I answered, I'm not sure who it was, one of the bottom comments on my video yesterday. And they were talking about how they felt guilty because they couldn't do some things. Um, you can do some things. You just have to rethink the process. We normally would go in, you know, clean the whole bathroom and be done. Doesn't work that way anymore. Um, you have to find baby steps. While you're brushing your teeth, wash down the sink. You know, um... You know, when you're taking a shower, wash down one wall. Um, things like that. You know, if you can't get to the top to do it, see if you can find a significant other. Um, friends, I have friends that I know would come and do that for me should I need them. However, I've got a husband and he does a fabulous job. So, But just rethink your baby steps. Um, and you can do things. I'm not saying you can go out and ride a roller coaster. That's not a baby step, okay? But for for things to do around your home, yes, you can do them. Baby steps, all right? So I will check with you guys later. I hope you all have a very pain-free day or as pain-free as possible. Gentle hugs, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, guys. Good morning. It's Monday. And today is a pain day. Um extreme amount of pain I my left leg is just it's just awful it hurts like crazy um, my hips are really bad um, they burn so bad when I walk um, that yeah I'm not doing much walking today um, my back is just on overdrive as far as pain um, ouch Pucky's biting my toe so it's couch day so while we're hanging here on the couch 
Um, I had somebody talk uh, or want to talk the other day about um, acceptance. I'm going to try to hold this. I hope I can do it. Um, acceptance, acceptance, ac <laughs> say it three times fast. Accept, whatever, acceptance, <laughs> I can't say it this morning. That's also part of fibro. My shoulders are killing me. Anyways, to accept the situation you're in. Um, it's kind of on the line of denial. Uh, denial, you, as I talked about the other day, you know, it's something that you just, your mind is not listening to your body. Your mind is saying, nah, it's not that bad. Uh, give me a couple Advil, I get over it, you know, that kind of thing. Um, to accept it is kind of on the same line because before you accept what's happening, you do exactly what you do with denial. You completely overdo it. You um, do things that you know you shouldn't be doing. Um, in order to accept, it's almost, the only way I can describe it is it was almost a, a, a change in my, um, my expectation of what I could do. Right. So I had to learn to accept the fact that there are some things I can no longer do. And I had to accept the fact that there are things I can do, but in a different way. Let me give you an example. I like to cook. OK, sometimes. <laughs> well, lately, not a whole lot, but I do like to cook and I, you know, I I feel that I should be able to provide at least, you know, a warm meal at least once a day for my husband. Doesn't work all the time. Sometimes it's once a week. It depends on the day, you know, and how it goes. Um, but let's say, you know, I have to accept the fact that I can't get up at 4 o'clock in the afternoon and have dinner ready by 5. It's not happening. So let's say we have a menu of, I don't know, meatloaf, mashed potatoes, I don't know, green bean casserole and a salad or whatever. I don't care. Well, what you have to do in order to get that goal done is to do it a step at a time. So let's say I was going to do that today, even though I, I can't. Let's say I was on a normal pain day, right? So I would have gotten up this morning and I would have thrown the meatloaf together. I had to put it in the fridge. Um, went in my art room, did my thing for a while, need to get up and walk around. I'd come out and I'd put the green bean casserole together, throw that in the fridge. Um, and then later on in the afternoon, maybe around two, three, three o'clock, I'd come out, peel the potatoes, get them in water, whatever I need, get those ready to go. And then when it comes to actual dinner time, all I have to do is throw those two things in the oven and turn the stove on to boil the potatoes. Um, you know, if I make up a salad, I usually try to make up a big container of salad so that we have it for a few days so I don't have to do it over and over again. So that's just one example of accepting the fact that you are no longer who you were as far as the performance of your body. It's difficult. It is not easy. Um, and what happens when you first get this injury or you first go into chronic pain is you take two baby steps and you slide back four. Then you take two more baby steps and then maybe you get to take three and then you slide back two. It's just, it's a, a process of being able to understand what your body can do, what it cannot do, how much it can do, and when you do too much and it's, it's not beneficial for what it can do. Does that make any sense? <laughs> Sounds like I'm talking in circles, but anyways, I just want to talk a little bit about acceptance and you know, I'm going to be doing another video series. I'm not quite sure when, but I am going to talk about all these emotions, the denial, the acceptance, the, um, shame, the, uh, guilt, all of those, but I just want to give you kind of a heads up on the acceptance and you know, it takes a long time. It's not easy. Nothing about this journey is easy. So I hope you guys have a wonderful day. I am here set up, like I said, on the couch, not going anywhere, not doing anything, and just hanging out, doing some art, taking some painkillers. Well, actually pain patches and ice and ibuprofen, if you want to call that painkillers. Um, and just letting my body do what it can or cannot do today. 
Uh, tomorrow I go for hip injections. I'm really excited about that um, because then a couple days from now, hopefully that'll stop my hips from burning. So, all right, guys, have a great day. I may or may not check in later. It depends on how the day goes. Um, but always gentle hugs, and I hope you guys have as much of a pain-free day as possible. Talk to you soon. Bye. Good morning. How is everybody today? Um, I'm doing okay. Uh, not anywhere near as much pain as I had last night. Um, my hips are really, really sore. And if you notice, I got the little red steroid cheeks. Which, whatever. It'll go away eventually. Um, last night was kind of a rough one. Um, a lot of pain. A lot of pain in my hips. A lot of pain in my lower back. And I think part of that was from um, having to sit for so long waiting for the doctor so you know it is what it is we do what we can so this morning um, I'm up I finished my coffee well almost finished my coffee it's about uh, 10 30 in the morning and um, I told my husband I said I really want to go in my art room so we got me all in there I sat down in the chair for a while and my hips really started aching again so I said, okay, I hobbled back out to the couch because right now my hips don't work very well. Um, it's going to take a couple days for the steroids and the lidocaine to get through, um, which is fine. So here I am on the couch, uh, chilling out. I'm playing around in a couple journals I have here, um, just sitting back and relaxing when I need to. I have, I don't know, 24-7 of CSI on. Basically, it's just background uh, noise. But, yeah, that's where I stand this morning. Um, I've seen a couple comments about how people can't do anything anymore for their, for their family, for their husband, that kind of thing. And I'm going to implore you. Um, that's, that's not right. That really is not right. You can do for your kids and you can do for your husband. You just really have to take whatever that task may be and break it down and figure out, okay, um, your kids want you to, let's say they want you to go to a baseball game, right? All right. So you've got a son. He's in baseball. Mom, can you please come to my game tomorrow night? All right. So today you do pretty much pain therapy, pain management. You um, don't do anything excessive. You don't um, overdo. Do not overdo. All right, tomorrow, the same thing. And then you use whatever medication or whatever tools, sorry, I got something in my eye, um, you may have in your arsenal to be able to make it to that baseball game. Now, let's say, you know, you know the baseball game, well, they take like three hours or so, something like that. All right, so you know you can't sit either in the bleachers or in your wheelchair or, you know, with a cane or with a walk or whatever for three hours. You know what? You can be there half of that time. So my biggest advice is please break your activities down. Break them down into sizable chunks that you can manage. Oops, here comes my baby. Here she is. Say hi, Bucky. <laughs> She's been keeping mom company this morning, um, hanging out. She always thinks she has to lay on my lap when I'm, sorry, doing some um, art journaling. But, you know, it's all good. I just do a little bit here and there and whatever. So, anyways, back to the topic. Um, break things down. All right, you say you can't do anything for your husband. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You can make him a dinner in steps. You can um, spend time with him. Let's say he likes to sit and watch TV at night. Why can't you do that? Sorry, I keep moving you because I have to use the right hand. So let's say he's going to sit down and watch uh, TV tonight. How about suggesting a movie laying on the couch? How about suggesting, um, honey, can you bring a couple of my art supplies out so I can hang out with you? Um, when it comes to the intimacy, that's another total subject, and I will talk about that, just not on this video because this one's getting long. Um, but yes, you can 
be with your hubby, you can do things for your hubby, you can assist your hubby in certain ways. So don't, I, I, it really drives me crazy when I hear people say, I can't, I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. You just have to do it a little bit differently, right? All right. Um, I don't want to, I don't want to sound mean or angry, but it just drives me crazy because I was in the same, I was in the same place. I can't do this. I can't do that. I can't. Yes, you can. Yes, you can. Part of it starts with getting rid of your denial. You know what? Your body is injured. Deal with it. It is injured. You can't get away from that. It's not going to change. All right. So your body's injured. Your acceptance, you've got to learn to accept that. Um, you can't do anything different. It's not going to change. So let's not dwell on those two things. Let's figure out how we can do things and how we can do them either simpler or easier or more helpful to the situation that we're in. Right? All right. Um, I'm going to let you go because this video is getting long, but I will try probably try to check in later on today. Um, like I said, I'm dealing with my steroids. I keep getting hot flashes. <laughs> but um, I hope you guys all have as pain-free possible as, as day as you can. And I will check in soon. Talk to you soon. Bye. Hey, guys. How are you? Um, this is my second check-in for the day. <laughs> As you can see, I've got massive steroid um, usage going on in my body. Um, honestly, today I've just felt really kind of blah. Um, I've pretty much been on the couch all day, watched more movies than I want to watch, and I got another one queued up to watch. But um, I worked a little bit in my journal, didn't really do a whole lot, just odds and ends. And basically, I've been just trying to let these steroids run their course. Um, hopefully within a day or so, this stuff will be gone. It makes my cheek, it's really hot. So I've been dealing with a lot of hot flashes. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, what else is going on? Not a whole lot. It's about 20 minutes to 6, um, or 25 of 6 on the eastern coast and like I said I've just been watching movies and just relaxing and we'll see what tomorrow brings um, when I do get up and walk my hips are sore um, nothing nothing like the pain I had last night nothing a lot of that burning is gone it's just now getting those um, that hip joint moving again and uh, getting rid of that um, you know, getting rid of the, the injection per se. There's a big lump on each of them. There's a lump on the side where they gave me the injection and I just keep rubbing at it and it keeps um, soaking in. So yeah, that's been my day. Exciting, huh? It's funny because last night when I did um, the ugly, um, I meant the ugly about chronic pain. <laughs> But it's all good. You know, there's up days, there's down days. Um, just looking back through my vlogs, it's funny because I can see uh, where I feel decent and where I feel just like crap. So, you know, I imagine you guys can see that kind of roller coaster that we're on. And um, especially if you're in chronic pain, you know exactly what I'm going through. Um... Hubby just took the puppy out. Like I said, we're going to watch this movie. And I'm just going to chill out, watch a movie, and wait patiently for bedtime. Um, other than that, everything's, it is what it is. So I will chat with you guys in the morning. I hope you have a wonderful evening and gentle hugs to you all. We'll talk again. Bye. Hey guys, good morning. It's me. Um... Today is the 21st of March, and it's about, I don't even know, like 10.30 in the morning. Um, I'm up. <laughs> As you can see, my steroid cheeks are just still a little bit. They're, they're going down. Um, last night, sleep, pretty much non-existent. Um, but, you know, that's what the steroids love to do with you. They love to play with your sleep habits and everything else. 
Um, my hips feel wonderful. <laughs> There's no more of that burning um, through my hips and into my groin. None of that is there. So I love the fact that I get these shots and it can just take that pain away. Now, if they could actually make me a um, an injection for my back that would do the same thing, that would be wonderful. However, it doesn't happen. Uh, I think I have too much damage back there for any shots to you know, do any good. So, what's on the agenda today? Um, I got up, I showered, I needed a shower, I felt gross. My puppy's right here next to me. Um, took a shower, I did the dishes, and you know, I've heard a lot of people talk about feeling guilty. Okay, one prime example. The last two days, my hubby has been basically taking care of me and making sure that I was fed, watered, and you know, um, had everything I needed. So, when I got up this morning and I saw um, all the dishes in the sink, you know, normally he does them. He'll usually do them every morning and, you know, we start off a clean slate every morning. But, you know, for the last couple of days, like I said, he's been doing his own thing plus dealing with me. So, um, I can't say dealing with me, making sure I was comfortable. So, I decided to do the dishes. Um... Should I have done them? Probably not. Uh, it really stirred up my, my middle back, which, you know, I'm going to deal with. And it made my lower back start aching. It's okay. I felt guilty. Um, I did what I needed to. Did I overdo it? Absolutely not. I'm not out there sweeping the floors and vacuuming the rug and all that stuff. It's not happening. Because I know my body just can't take it. So... Here's my pucky. I gotta show you. She's such a sweetheart. There she is. Say hi, Puckadoo. Pucky, Pucky, Pucky. <laughs> she's so funny. She's never very far from me. But boy, when Daddy's home, she's all over him too. So she's my girl. She keeps me company. So, anyways, back to the guilt. Um, yeah, I felt I feel guilty when that happens when I'm down for a couple days. Um, and the biggest reason I feel guilty is because Throughout our entire marriage, I have always been a partner to my husband. He's always been a partner to me. We've done things together. We always, you know, mowed the lawns to together, did the wee whacking together, whatever. We did things together. Housework, we did it together. And it just, I feel guilty at times because I am, I can't say I am, he's taking a lot of the responsibility in the house. Is it my fault per se? No. I didn't ask to be here. I didn't ask for this back injury. I didn't ask for the um, bursitis in my hips. I didn't ask for any of that. That's, it's not like I intentionally said, hey, let's hurt my back so I don't have to do anything anymore around the house. That's not how it worked. So one of the things you really need to do when you feel guilty is, first of all, I'm gonna say this each and every time, if I haven't already, journal, journal, journal. I have a shelf full of journals where I've written down my feelings, I've written down my ups, my downs, my sads, my happies, my um, you know troubles and trials. I've written it all down. I feel sorry for my son when he decides to read them. But uh, <laughs> yeah, um, journal. It's huge. It gets it out of your head and onto paper. Does it make it any better? Mentally, yes, um, when it comes to the actual piece of um, task that needs to be done. No, it doesn't make it any better. You still feel guilty. But mentally, if you get it down on paper, it's going to help you to understand, first of all, you didn't ask for this. You didn't. Nobody does. Nobody asks to get hurt like we are. Okay? So when I have that guilt, I do what I can when I can. For example, this morning I did the dishes. Now there was um, a day's worth of dishes. So what I did is I started with all, you know, the silver or glass and blah, blah, blah. Then I went and sat down and took a break. I came back over. I reheated up the water. I finished the rest of them. Do we have a dishwasher? Yes. Do we use it? No. That's just me. I, I'm not a big fan of a dishwasher. So, um, but yeah, um, guilt. It's hard. It's very, very hard, but you've got to look at it as 
I didn't ask for this pain. Okay, so I have this, I have this, um, this mountain I have to climb over. All right, we can only do it in baby steps. We have to talk to our significant others or whomever else you feel guilty from. Maybe your sister is picking up your kids to go to school every day. Whatever the case may be. Talk to them and explain to them, you know, I'm really sorry, but I didn't ask for this, but I so appreciate you helping me out. I don't know how many times a day I tell my husband, thank you so much. It, you know, he helps me so much. I, I can't complain. I really can't. Um, you know, I hope everyone has that relationship. I know some people don't. I know it's not as, you know, prevalent out there as, as a lot of good marriages are. But um, don't let that guilt eat you up. Get it out in writing. Um, talk to the people and do what you can, when you can, in baby steps. All right? I will chat with you later on this afternoon, but I hope you guys have as pain-free day as possible. And gentle hugs. Bye. Hey guys, Cindy Utter here. Um, this is my afternoon check-in. Well, I should say evening check-in. It's about 20 after 6. Um, it's been really kind of a low-key day for me. I went in my art room this morning and I just hung out there for a little bit. And honestly, I wasn't really feeling it. So I decided to um, come back out. Um, and I got for Christmas an Instapot. And I hadn't really used it a lot, so I figured I'd play around with that for a little bit. So I actually took some spare ribs, completely frozen, out of the freezer, got them broke up, put them in it, and within 40 minutes they were done, and they were delicious. Um, I also put a spaghetti squash, cut it in half, take the seeds out of it, stick it in the Instant Pot with some water on the bottom, and boom, seven minutes later it's done, and again, it was delicious. But anyways... So I did those two things, and I went out into my glass house. Um, Jeff built me a new shelf for a couple pieces of equipment that I just got for out there, so I went out to check it out. But honestly, I've been really run down today. I just feel I'm tired. And I think part of it is because I didn't get much sleep last night um, due to the steroids. You know, it was... Um, Looks like my nose has got something on it. It's not. It's just a shadow. <laughs> Sorry. Squirrel. That looks really funny. Don't look at my nose. Um, so it was um, when I went in the glass house, you know, I, I'm, I love my glass house and I love doing stained glass. But even then, I just was like, eh, I'm going back in the house. And I basically come in the house and I've been chilling out here on the couch. The reason this looks a little dark is just because the light above me is an odd on, but so, yeah, I've really not been doing a whole lot, just chilling out and hanging. Um, hubby's coming in, I think, with the pucky dog, so she'll be jumping up on me shortly. But that's about it. It's been a very low-key, lazy, laid-back day. Um, I'm hoping to get up tomorrow and go out to my glass house. Time will tell. And that's about it, ladies. So... For tonight, I'm going to say goodnight. Um, I hope you guys had a wonderful day and was a lot more productive than I was because I didn't get anything done. So I will chat with you in the morning. Gentle hugs. Talk to you soon. Bye. Good morning. Cindy Utter here. Um, Yeah, it's Friday morning. I don't know. I think the 21st or 22nd. I don't know. Um, Yeah, it was... I got a good night's sleep last night, but, um, yeah, I still just don't have any energy whatsoever, so I'm pretty much making myself do something today. Um, I spent the last three days just chilling out, not doing much, so it's chilly here. It's about 40 degrees. I'm out in my glass house, as you can see, and I've got this crazy idea that I have all these different paints that I'm just, I can't get through them in my lifetime. So um, what I'm doing is I'm actually going to paint my entire inside of my glass house all different colors. Yeah, I know I'm crazy. But anyways, that's my plan. I'm just working on it a little bit. Um, like I said, it is chilly out here, but meh, it's okay. It'll warm up later. Um, chronic pain wise, I'm not the best. Um, I've been a lot better. 
I have my left hip is still um, just hurting. It, it doesn't burn, does not burn like it did. But I think what's happening is a lot of that burning sensation kind of covered up the back pain, maybe. I don't know. I don't think so, but I don't know. I just know that my left hip is really, really sore. And my right hip feels wonderful. Oh my gosh, it definitely helped. Those, those shots are amazing when it comes to my body. They really help. I just don't like the four or five days afterward where I just feel like crap. Um, like I said, not a lot going on today. I'm going to hang out here for a bit. Uh, I'm going to... I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do. <laughs> I know I'm going to warm it up in there a little bit by making some beads. You can kind of see where am I. Right in there is my bead making stuff. And I've got my torches there too. I don't think you can see them. But... So I'm going to warm up the uh, my glass house a little bit. Um, play around with making a few beads. Um, they're lamp work beads, which is basically made with a flame and melting glass. Um, and like I said, I'm going to paint a little bit and really not do a whole lot. Just kind of chill because it's just one of those days. So what's our subject today? Um, I think it's just going to be the same thing. I know somebody brought up anger the other day, but honestly, my brain's not working well enough to think about that right now. But I just want to say that, you know... Even though you may not feel great, okay, I don't feel great. Honestly, I could go and lay down on the couch and stay there all day. I know I could, not a problem. But I am choosing to get up, to um, get dressed. You know, I had my coffee this morning. Did it help? Mm, not really, but it's all right. I'm out in the glass house. I'm going to do what I can. Now, the great thing about this, I don't know if you guys can see, hang on is see I have a little bed over there it's not a little bed it's like a little love seat but I can utilize that to go lay down and just relax you know if my hip really starts giving me trouble or my back really starts giving me trouble um, like I said these steroids are killing me <laughs> it's just it's one of those days guys so for now, I hope you guys all, um, you know, think about what I've talked about over the last week and think about in different ways, sorry about the trucks, different ways that you can take care of yourself, um, take care of your family, all with baby steps. Um, really, what good are you to your family if you just keep overdoing it and you're in a lot of pain? None, none whatsoever. You're no good. So... In order to help everybody else, you have to help yourself first. All right? So don't forget to have a beautiful day. Um, find at least one thing to smile about today. You know, even if it's crap, that's the 30th day time you've dropped your cane. You know, it gets funny after a while. Um, I will talk to you guys a little bit later on today. I'll let you know, you know, how long I'm out here. I don't know. It's about 10 o'clock, I guess, in the morning. Um, and I'll let you guys know how long I'm out here and what I get accomplished or not. And like I've said before, you guys have a great pain-free day as much as possible. Don't beat yourself up. Take care of yourself. And gentle hugs. I'll talk to you a little bit later. Bye-bye. Hey, guys. It's me. Um, <laughs> can you guess where I'm at? <laughs> um, I'm in the house on the couch. I am still completely exhausted. Um, I feel like I have no energy whatsoever. Um, I had fun this morning, if you want to call it that, out in the glass house. Um, I actually did a little bit of soldering, which was kind of cool. Uh, it's been quite a few years since I've done it. So um, it's coming back kind of quickly. But, uh, you know, I still have a ways to go to, you know, dust off the cobwebs and actually um, get the solder exactly how I want it. So I did that for a little bit and then I was getting frustrated so I just kind of cleaned that up. Um, I ordered <laughs> for lunch my hubby and I ordered pizza and I ordered a pizza and had them deliver it to the teal shed. <laughs> so that was kind of cool. He's like yeah he goes I knew this was here. He's actually done it once before for us so 
it was kind of neat. So we had pizza for lunch. Um, and then I just, I took one tube of paint and I painted the door frame of the um, double doors going into the shed. And honestly, that took every amount of energy I could summon up to do. Um, I feel like I could go to bed and sleep for a month. I feel like I've run a marathon. Pardon me. I'm sorry. Um, Pucky's hanging out here with me. She's taking a nap. Um, Daddy went back outside. I, who knows what he's doing out there. But, yeah, these days kind of suck. Um, there's so much more I'd rather be doing, you know, even if it's just sketching or... Um, I don't know, zoom in with some friends, but you know, when you have this type of an energy level, you just have to tough through it. Now, previously I probably, and I'm talking previously, like when I first had my accident, I'd be so pissed off. I'd be so mad at myself because I couldn't get up and go do the things I want to do. And I just completely berated myself because you know, how come I can't get up and go? Well, there's a big difference between then and now. Um, now I understand that my body has to take a break. If it doesn't, I pay so bad for it. Um, it's just not funny. So, you know, just because my body says today, you know, you're not doing anything, you feel exhausted. I'm sorry, can you tell? <coughs> um... That doesn't mean that, you know, I'm not a good person. It doesn't mean that I can't do things. It doesn't mean that, you know, I should be guilty or angry or um, upset with myself for something I can't control. And that right there is a big part of acceptance is figuring out that this is something your body is going through. It's not your personality. It's not your um, work ethic. It's not your, oh, what are the other things I'm looking for? My brain's a little bit foggy today, so I think that's part fibro. Um, it's not, this is not normally you, okay? This is definitely not normally me. I'm, I like to get up in the morning, mm, morning-ish, <laughs> um, and just go and do. Looks like I got a burn on my lip. Hmm. Um, anyways, uh, you know, I just, I like to be in my art room and making videos and making dinner and playing with my puppy dog and just all that kind of stuff. But you know what? It's not happening today. So I'm not going to, um, get angry. I'm not going to let it get me down. You know what? Tomorrow's another day. So instead of making it worse. Um, I'm just going to go with it. Go with the flow. I did what I could this morning. I'm not making dinner tonight. It's not happening. Um, I'm just going to actually I have a movie on called The Crew. I have no idea what it's about, but I'm going to lay here with a movie on, hang out with my pucky while she's taking a nap and just let it be. If, um, I want to a little bit later, I have some art stuff here on my on my coffee table, like, for example, last night, oh, let me show you, oops, I was playing around with, um, uh, Malibu, um, I'm sorry, not Malibu, the Woodies, the Stabilo Woodies, and I was just sitting here playing around, so, you know, I can do that if I get bored, um, I can always throw some music on, I can always grab a book to read, uh, whatever, but, when you have days like this, please, please, please don't make it worse than it is. Understand it. Accept it. Realize it's okay. And tomorrow's another day. So we'll see how to this afternoon goes. Um, it's about quarter after three in the afternoon. I've been in the house for about an hour or so. Um, but yeah, take it one day at a time. Don't make it worse than it is, and maybe I'll check in later tonight. If not, I'll talk to you in the morning. Gentle hugs, everybody. Bye.